A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters. And a big thanks to all the donators of $5 or more. Dead Zirkling. Radio Raptor. And Vlad Tepish 3176. You all helped make this possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here. Last time on Shadowrun, we woke up in a slab. A slab reading J. Armitage. From there, we found that we got a thing in our head. We don't know what it is. We don't know why it's there. But what we do know is that I need to find a weapon before I get shot to death by all of these slack-jawed yokels that are just shooting everyone. Oh, and also, we find ourselves in a bit of intrigue with, apparently, some people killing some other people. And whatnot. Also, I'm not quite, um... quite good at hitting the buttons correctly yet. But, I have been given a few tips by Atrus Wonder, and one of those tips is that, apparently, I missed something important back at my apartment. So, our first goal is to get there. Assuming I can remember how to get there. I believe it was the third door up on the right. I am not too far away. Get in there. So, apparently, I'm looking for a ripped note. And there's one now. Let's take a look. Sassy702826. I will just bet that that is some kind of phone number. Alright, while I'm here, might as well rest, because I'm a bit low on health. Another thing Atrus Wonder let me know is that there is a way to use Karma without using it up. Now, if I get stuck or have to grind for a long time, I'll check it out. For now, I'm not going to use it quite yet, because, you know, I'm just starting out on this game, I want to get a feel for it. Wait a minute, I wonder if I could have possibly checked the bookshelf. Okay, I don't see anything. I must remember, what I think of as a button is not this game's idea of a cancel button. Or maybe it is. But anyway, in the last episode, I wandered into several out-of-the-way places that I shouldn't have. And one of those places I walk right back out of because people were screaming and shooting. But now, I need to just nut up and examine it. And hopefully, I won't get shot to death. Oh, Yeah, that guy is a-shooting at me. Take cover. There, you see that? That is a gun. I want that. It's a Beretta! Sweet! Ah! Ah! Get it! Yeah! I'm not armed. I have to equip this. Let us do that now. By going to weapon, Beretta pistol, pistol, use. I am now armed. Get strapped. Now I have to actually move out of cover to attack. This fool's shooting at me. Um, are we not, um, yeah, apparently I can't, uh, hit to save my life. There, that got him. I should not have this much trouble hitting a damn orc. No one should have this much trouble attacking an orc. Ha! Got him. Now what do you have to say about yourself? A worn leather jacket. Ah. Oh. Can I take that? I can. Yes, this is where your pen and paper RPG tropes come into play. Now, I can loot my enemies and take their stuff. Let's, uh, use this. I have armor! Now, if only I had enough money... 
to do anything else. Well, as long as we're here, might as well examine the alley. So, this guy was dead when we got here. I'm assuming the orc killed him. I'm also assuming that I really need to learn how to use the right buttons to do things. That will come with time, but we can use our cursor to slide around and see if there's anything interesting. I have a strange feeling about those eyes. Oh! Hello, talking dog. Dog controls your destiny. Seek out three items of his favor and then seek his shrine. Ah, mucho metaphysical, friend. What can we ask about? Tell me more of dog. Okay, then. Anything else you got for me? Guess not. You know what? Let's just uh, move on. So what do dogs like? They like bones. They like a 1969 Dodge Charger. I mean, I would like one of those if I was a dog. I like one now. Seventh... Let's look at that again. Seventh generation Cybertech. Now in keyboard size. Okay. So, can I actually go through here? No. The concealing shadows conceal more than just the dog. Or is that not the dog, but it is a dog? But I can attack now. This is good. This opens up some options. And I have a bit of armor. So now, I won't be completely terrified to... Okay. Who the hell is shooting me? You! Die! It's a hitman! You know what? This isn't going too well. I need to flee. Let's flee back to the apartment and take a rest. Unless something else interesting happens on the way. You there! Have you heard about Dog? Doggy? You have not. Right, so I will go to the apartment, I will rest up, and then I will, in theory, well, maybe I don't want to attack Window Man. I've been getting attacked around here as well. Wait a minute, if that's a video phone, perhaps I can use it without credit. Either way, I get my health restored, so that's nice. Please insert cred stick. I have no cred stick. But if I kill the crap out of someone, I can probably take their cred stick. But I can't just kill anyone. I have to kill someone who's attacking me first. And presumably someone who I didn't just break into their office and start raising hell. Because that would be slightly wrong. They're just defending their homes. How about this guy? Yeah. That's a sniper. That's a sniper who is not very good at his job. And also, that's a sniper who... Wait a minute. Money! So, I can get money. Excellent not very much money. Ah, oh, so many options. That's not an option, though. If I could just find a cred stick. Now, I don't remember what all was in here. Oh, right, this. Well, we found things on the desk in the office that I didn't notice before. It's possible that there are things here. Oh, he's badly injured. Well, that's good. For a minute, I was worried he was dead. If I had a healer, maybe I could do something about that. Yeah, those guys are attacky. They have the aspect of attacking people. No, I swear I'm not a robber breaking in with a gun and leather to rob you blind. 
I'm on drugs. Sure, we'll go with that. Perfectly reasonable explanation. Alright, what about window sniper dude? Hitman. You know, I'm kind of wondering if... I kill him, I can find out where he was attacking from. That's a good question. One I can't quite answer yet. And now he's not going to attack me again. Of course. Well, I do have a number now. Are you done with the phone? Yes, I can see you're using the phone. Ooh, I could ask around about dog. Let's ask our friendly neighborhood bartender first. What about this dog I've heard about? Nothing, eh? You there! Have you heard the good word about dog? Nope. Uh, you? No. I am not finding a lot of information here. Yes, I am troubled. <sighs> Is there anything I can find? Wait a minute. I can go in here. That is a damn zombie. That is an attacking zombie. How do I exit out of the gun menu? Not like that. Ha! Gotcha. Um, there we go. So, here's a place I haven't been. And there's things I can shoot, which is neat. Oh, no you don't. Someone's calling for help. It's probably me. I know I left another zombie around here somewhere. Hey, I got a Karma. So now I can use it to level up. If I'm not mistaken... I'm not great at the combat. We have established that firmly. Help. Who's, who's calling for help? Ah, no, put the gun down and flee, man. Come on. Don't be an asshole. I have a lot of trouble backing out of the combat screen. Okay. Walk back, get some distance, then attack. That's how we do this. So, can I... There's a door. Someone's still yelling for help. Let's see if I can open the door. Something sharp could open the lock. Do I have anything sharp? Probably not. I have a door key. We already used that. A slap patch, which I'm saving. Uh, no. Back up. Back up. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Ha! Shot him. Can I open any of these doors? Certainly not that one. Pop back up. Pop back up. We're playing Cosmic Whack-A-Mole. Guess I just had to wait for him to get all the way up. Something sharp. How about my wits? Those are pretty sharp. Oh wait.
Hello. Hello. I can't help but wonder if upping my firearm stat would improve my chances of hitting. Oh, I don't have to wait for him to get all the way up. Well, good. Here's another gate, which is not in the business of opening. More doors. This one doesn't... Oh, wait. This door is locked. Of course. So I need to find something sharp. I also need to pop a few more zombies. There's another karma. What is seeking my help? I'm going to find out, but I can only assume it's something coming from inside the mausoleum. Hmm, I wonder if these guys keep coming. If so, that would be fine. I think I'm getting the hang of this leveling up thing. Can I shoot it open? That's a negatory, good buddy. Alright. Well, at least I got some levels there. Or some karma, which I think are used for levels, so... That means we can head back to home base and find out what's up with the leveling system. And something tells me I don't want to get in a firefight with this guy. Yeah, I still don't have a ticket. But I think I'm closer to- Whoa! You know what I need? Let's uh, go ahead and use that slap patch right now. There. Now, I have more of a chance of... Ha! I got him. It resulted in 50 bucks. Hell yeah. So, I am making good progress. Well, I'm making progress. I'm not sure I would say it's good. So, first of all, not gonna fight Window Assassin, because I do not have the health for that. I do not. But that'll be my next target after I have regained my health, which is really going to have to happen soon. I'm on my way. On my way. Take me a little nappy nap. And spend some karma. I am looking forward to seeing what I might be able to upgrade. So, we'll hit the bed, right? Good. Save first, in case I decide I screwed up, now. We can up attributes, skills, or magic. Let's see what all of these are. We have body, strength, and charisma. Okay. And for skills, we have firearms and computers. Okay. And for magic, we have absolutely nothing! So, I guess... The question now is, what do I want to try to up? Because I know... Okay, I can't up body. So... Exit out of that. What about firearms? I did. Can I up it again? No, so apparently... I'm guessing I need however many that number is. That's all I'm gonna do for that for now. Okay, now hopefully I can hit things a little better. Let's just uh, jog on back to the guy in the window and see if he does anything for me. Also, I'm pretty sure there are more places I 
got attacked in the past. If I can find some and get some money, I could potentially hire that Decker fellow in the bar. Then it'd be on. Except I don't really want to hire him. I want to hire the magician, but he's on the damn phone. Everyone's always on the damn phone. The window is closed. The assassin is not here. So how do I get a cred stick? Not like that. Out of order. So do I already have a cred stick? Maybe I already have a cred stick and I'm just being an idiot. I'll try to find a uh, working video phone. I'll try to bait that window assassin into coming back out. Because you're not helping. Yes, must find a phone. That's imperative. Yeah, there is no way I'm gonna hit through those windows, so... That's a waste of my time. And I'm down some more health, because of course... I don't have anything to trick the morgue people into giving me, like, police-type clearance. Was there anything else over here? Ah, I can go over here. We're exploring options, yay! This is the monorail thing. Which is locked. What? What is that key that I... That's the key to my own apartment, isn't it? Let me just double check. Door key... Yeah, that's the key to my apartment. Don't have anything else there. And this was dead guy again? Yeah, okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Wow. Someone's going nuts. Someone is attacking with great alacrity. Ha! Got him. But he didn't drop anything. And he has nothing that I can find. Okay. Back in here it is, then. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna try to use the vid phone. Do I actually have to save, or... Does my health get healed just by... Yeah, okay. Yeah, insert cred, cred stick. I don't have a cred stick. So, the question is, can I find a vid phone that I can actually use? You know what? I'm gonna hit up some of these doors. I am not going to hit up some of these doors. I'm going to do no such thing. I'm going to slam that door into my own face. Alright. That's a mage. I'm breaking into his house and shooting him. And I got karma for that. So, I was supposed to kill him. Okay, well... Maybe I can explore this office. For a mage, he wasn't very magical or mystical, was he? No, he was not. We're playing Pixel Hunt. I have not hunted a single pixel in this room. That's sad. But we know I didn't get punished for... fighting back, so... That's a bonus. That opens up options. Alright, what's my inventory say about some of this other stuff? What am I missing? Warehouse number five, right. 
Sassy, okay. Armitage to perform courier run to Matrix Systems. And Wastelands Club. So very little to work with here. This is the morgue again. Didn't find anything new here. This is locked. I'll feel stupid if it turns out that there's another thing in there that I need to find. Buggered if I know what. Alright. I'll fight some enemies and maybe find a video phone in here. Oh, this is empty. I can explore to my heart's content. But explore what? Um... A lot of nothing. I see, said the blind man, but he couldn't see a daggone thing. Cool, I guess. Next. We've been in here, but we haven't really looked around. Ooh, a cyber deck. Can I just take that? It's a PC-100. I can just take it. The secret secretary doesn't even care. This is great. I should have tried this ages ago, but I was afraid that we were operating on, like, pen and paper RPG logic and not, you know, RPG RPG logic. Has anyone talked to you about dog? It's like God, but backwards, and sometimes it licks its balls. Alright, what can I do with this computer? That's the real question. Can I use it? Use on... nothing, I guess. So I'm gonna have to find something to use this on. Okay, I'll find something to use it on. Can I even hit these guys? No. Wait, yes, I can. Ha! Drop some money. Fling your money bodily out the window. No? You're not gonna do that? Alright. Well, I'll keep fighting, dudes. If I have to, get some more money. I'm not seeing anything in this alleyway. I feel... That I may be spinning my wheels just slightly. Yeah, I got a cyber deck. So there's that. I guess I'll take it to the bar and see if I can do anything with it there. How about you? Great? Not so great. Whoops. I will come through this victorious. Starting an RPG is always the hardest part of the process, really. Of course you're out of order. Old damn system's out of order. Oh, wait, I haven't talked to this guy again, lately. What do you know about dog? No? You don't know anything about dog? Okay. What do you know about this cyberdeck? I'm not using it on him. Fine. I wonder if I can use it on the phone. I can probably use it on a phone somewhere. Nope. Right. To the bar, to the bar. Aha! You! Yeah, I do feel like I'm hitting a little bit more often. I'd feel even better than that if I was getting money and stuff. 
maybe this is the only working vid phone I can use. Okay, if you're a Decker, how much did you say you wanted again? Five hundred. I don't have that. But if I use the cyber deck on you, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not going well. Too far away. The phone is being. Can I just put a bullet in your head? I'm considering it. I really am. Tech like that data jack of yours. Okay. That's not helping me. None of this is helping me. Not a damn thing I have found has helped me. Uh oh. Scary ghoul! Stuck on a gravestone. Terrible shame, that. Rise from your graves and get right back down in there. I sense that this game might involve me being perpetually stuck. Which, I suppose, is what a blind run is all about. But it would be amazing if the game gave you an ounce of direction for what to do or where to go. Like, I've seen RPGs that start off slowly, and this isn't even close to the top of that list. But man... I don't know who's calling for help, but they're gonna be dead as hell by the time I find them. Something sharp could open the lock. I have no clue. Ah! Put the gun down and get out of the path of the ghouls! You jackass. Seriously. It's like this character has no sense of self-preservation. Maybe it's all the blunt trauma from whatever put him in that morgue slab. Yeah, that's probably it. I sure as hell can't figure out anything else. Ah, such is the life of blind runs. Don't know what I'm doing, don't know where I'm going, don't know how to get there. And if I look it up or ask for help, it's completely missing the point of playing it blind. So, I guess I'll just head back to the apartment and heal up. And then, maybe next time, on the next episode, I will make some kind of progress. No promises, though. Looking like this is going to be a pretty slow build-up. Especially if I keep going the wrong way. <sighs> Leave me alone. You window armed jack and apes.
Yeah. I got I got no idea. Okay. Well, until next time. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the lack of progress, but that's how these things go sometimes. Until then, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink.